is up guys welcome back to another video uh this one i'm gonna kind of explain the controls and everything for project delta we're gonna go through the settings list and look at everything through here uh, first things first when you first join the game you'll spawn in this little area there's a little stage and everything stuff back here after you edit your character you'll be put in here you are actually able to re-edit your character over here at the barbershop you'll see the stage barbershops are here you open this everything's here now here's the first extraction point uh, or not extraction point the deployment point where you can join any server i personally just click the quick play option now f is how you open all the menus so you know you come to barbershop you click f you open the menu you come to this guy you click f you open the menu and let's see if i can find a crate really quick if there's a crate in here i, I thought there would be anyway I, I know there's a crate down here so when you do spawn in this area you'll probably be confused on how you get to the vault uh you actually have to go down this hallway so some entrance back there you go down this hallway it's gonna force you to go this way to go right and then you go straight into this railroad looking area and boom you're here come over here this is the vault guy you open him with f you actually do start with loot uh you'll have like an ak and some pistols and some money which then you can use to upgrade your vault which this one is kind of confusing it's very confusing to me if you want to like upgrade your vault or change in a menu you see how there's two options okay really bro just do down that way you, you use the scroll wheel and you scroll down you'll, you'll see how it kind of lights up a little bit when you or you're over an option and then he changes his thing click f you can upgrade your vault if you have the money i don't have the money for my upgrade once again click f you can open your containers and stuff this is the second extraction or deployment guy um i'm pretty sure it's the exact same servers and everything but uh now we're gonna get into the commands now first is split which um how you do that is whenever you have ammo or like for example these meds you press and hold down left click after you press and hold x so you press and hold x press and hold down you try moving it to a different slot it'll come up with this menu click one split and now it's split same thing with the ammo you do this hold x drag it over we'll do i almost put 29 25 boom now it's split now that's pretty simple once you get used to it, it took me a minute to get used to it because it is kind of a weird method. Uh, quick loot is also pretty easy to do. Um, there's just so many people here. When you open the vault guy, for example, uh, quick loot, you're holding Z. You hit him with a little left click, it takes the item out super fast. Look at this. So fast. Uh, you can use this to loot items, to store items. If you get a kill really quickly, you can loot it super quick and then get out of there. It's really easy to do. Um, next command, or hotkey rather, is crouch. I mean, obviously, you guys know how to crouch. Uh, inspect is just inspecting items. Click H. Let's look at it. All funny. Funny business. Haha, -ha, cool. Next one interact which is f we already went over that that's how you open menus that's how you open crates ease peas next one is reload you guys know how to reload sprint y'all know how to sprint toggle visor now this one is very very confusing for a lot of people um that and splitting ammo it is very confusing at first because it even took me a while to get used to this um when you grab for example this helmet you see that it has a visor, but when I open the barber, it's not over my face. You have to click N for it to go over your face. If you don't do that, you can get shot in the face and you can get one tapped. You need to have the visor on, otherwise you're screwed. You'll be able to tell if it's on because if you look around the screen, it gets darker. Now, you can take this off. It's literally just the click of N. That's how you do that. You know, if you're running through a town and you don't want it to look like this, quickly take it off, you know loot a little bit do whatever you need to but when you are getting ready to fight or you're in a pretty active zone you want to keep this on at all times now toggle attachments 
Uh, toggle attachments is when you have flashlights or lasers, as it says. Use a toggle weapon attachment such as flashlight or lasers. Now, another thing for that is these things are called modification stations. Pretty snazzy name. You open it with F, like usual, but when you get into here, to modify it, you have to right click on your gun and click the modify tab. And then it brings up this. So it'll have the core parts for the weapon, which I don't even want to try taking that out because I feel like it'll break my gun. But the attachments right here, that, that's how you open those. Now, once you're done, you click complete. And there you go. Flashlight. G. Now, a cycle fire mode. This one is actually pretty useful. You click V and it cycles your fire mode. Now, you can't use this for every weapon. PPSH, can't use it. AKM, can't use it. Mosin, can't use it. But for things like the AKMN, by the way, th this is the improvised, so it's only semi. But for this weapon, for example, you click V, you can switch from auto and semi. There's weapons that you can switch to burst mode as well. Uh, it kind of depends on the weapon. I don't know all the weapons in this game, but I know that for sure the AKMN allows you to do this. And I believe there's another AK that allows you to do it as well. Now, another thing that you cycle will be your sight. Now, this works, for example, on the Mosin. When you have a sight, click B, boom, you're using iron sight. For example, you're coming down here. You got your sight on. You're looking for this guy. Can't find him. Go around this corner, still can't find him. Boom, he's right there. It's easier to do it like this rather than straight up in his face if you're, like, really close. Another thing is that if you're using, like, an AK, for example, and I don't know exactly what practical uses it have, but if you click it, it lets you do it to the side like that. I don't know exactly what practical use it would have. Um, I, I haven't been in a situation where I would have needed this, but to each their own. You can have it however you want. You want to hold it like a gangster, hold it like that. And then aim is just mouse button too, which is your right mouse button. Easy peasy, folks. Now, how you actually open this menu, and you can change anything you want, is you click Y. Now, what I like to do is I like to have my quick loot as my crouch. I like to have, actually, uh, you could have it as that. That's interesting. But I like to have it as my crouch. My inspect, I like to keep at N. It makes me use it less because of my visor. I used to use it a lot, if you guys know any of my old videos. Um, I like to keep all these on normal, and all these are fine. Now, toggle crouch and sprint, it is pretty obvious. You press and hold crouch. And never mind, apparently it doesn't work. Toggle crouch just does not work, folks. But I know that toggle sprint works. Wait, did I not? Oh, I didn't apply change. Okay, never mind. Toggle crouch does work. You just click it once and you're crouching. You don't have to hold it. Same thing with toggle sprint. You just hold it once. You press it once, you sprint in. Otherwise, you normally have to hold it. And then if you want it off, you just click it again. Now, visual things. Personally, I would turn off depth of field for both. Everything else should be fine. I would personally do blood effects because I believe that makes it so it's easier to know when you're shot. So, my settings are as follows. You guys can copy mine if you'd like. But, uh, it's all up to you. Thanks for checking out the video. Drop a like on it. Uh, let's make sure everyone knows how to actually play this game. Because if you want to keep it alive, people got to know how to play it. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty bad. Uh, also, another thing. You can throw grenades infinitely. And they don't do anything. In, uh, in the lobby. I thought, I thought that was interesting. But uh, anywho, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you want to see a gameplay, let me know down in the comments. And uh, hope this helped you.